while we was on the road too. Backlash over NFL player Harrison Bucker his, Buck Buckers. He's a, his speech. Commencement speech has reached a new level. Yeah, he's uh, on what team? Kansas. Um, He's one of the NFL is distancing itself from controversial comments by Kansas City Chiefs kicker. kicker. Oh, he's a kicker. The kicker yeah. Harrison Bucker. I hope I'm saying his name right. During a recent commencement address at a Christian college. In addition to calling Pride Month a deadly sin. Mm -hmm. Ooh, really? He's at a Christian college. <clears throat> Don't that forget you're taking the toll. I know. Keep that in mind. I'm going that way. Right. Okay. On the toll. Um, in addition to calling Pride Month a deadly sin, the bemoaning diversity and equity initiatives, Bucker set off waves of criticism when he suggested that women find more fulfillment through getting married and having children than by pursuing careers directly after quoting a song by Taylor Swift. Why is he quoting a song by Taylor Swift? that song meaning the comment that he's making about I don't women? know he's a moron yeah. you know that the guy in your on your team is dating her so why are you saying anything I don't know this is shaking so much go ahead um the backlash has been built what it has construction oh. here the backlash has been building since Buckner made the comment Saturday in an address to graduates at Ben something Benedictine College a small Catholic school. That's why you said it's a Christian school. It's a school. Christian school. The NFL issued a statement Wednesday saying Buckner's comments don't reflect the views of the league. Right. Glad also issued a statement calling his speech a clear miss and woefully. I was wondering if they was going to say something because he cracked on them. Saying their Pride Month was an abomination or whatever. Yeah. But, or a miss. A clear miss. Um, the LGBTQ people Oh, yeah, they had an issue with that. The Chiefs defending Super Bowl champions and one of NFL's marquee teams have not responded to requests for comment. So the Chiefs ain't said nothing, but the NFL did. However, plenty of women and Taylor Swift fans have made their feelings plainly known, including the Sisters of Mount St. Monastery. By the nuns. The I nuns. Because the Pope has already shared how he feels about the LGBTQ and he has not downed them or crossed them off. So why is this guy coming any kind of a negative way against that community? The sisters of Mount St. whatever do not believe that Harrison Buckner's comments in his 2024 commencement address represent the Catholic, the Catholic Church. Catholic Church, exactly. Exactly. I get it. He's at a Christian school, a Catholic school at that, but Pope, the Pope and pretty much have kind of shared his thoughts on LGBTQ and exclusive civility. You're on 173. Okay. Oh, yeah. So for this guy to come out his feelings and what he thinks and feels about the whole issue, he should not have put that in his commencement speech. Very controversial. It said, and he got backlash for instead that. Instead of prompting unity in our church, in our nation, and the world, his comments seemed to cause division. It did. It did. And even with the women. He made some comment along the lines of, it's for his women. I know y'all graduating here, but I know you will enjoy being a wife and a mother more so than your career. He said, I want to speak directly to you briefly because I think it is you. <clears throat> The women who have had the most diabolical lies told to you, he said. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross the stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles yes. you're going to get in your career? Yes. Some of you may go to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage <laughs> and the children you bring in this world. He said the majority of you. He's a moron. He's a butthole. Buckner also raised his wife, Isabel, saying she would be the first to say her life truly started when she began living her vacation as a vocation as a wife and as a mother. You don't speak for every woman, and I get what he was saying. He didn't say it right. He said the majority of you. Yes. He, he should have said something along the lines of you all. Some of you. you. He should have said some. I know some of you are sitting. This is what he should have said because he's a big dummy. 
it's great to have a career and it's great to i know some of you guys are sitting here thinking about you know how am i going to be promoted and what titles that i'm going to get but it's okay if it's some of you who are sitting here saying i'm okay with being a wife and a mom and, and being at home he should have said it that way. Yes. So don't make people make you feel bad yeah. if you don't if you want to get married and get have married kids and, have and, and, and that's your fulfillment. And not, and not pursue your career at the moment. Some people don't want to have a career and be a, a lawyer and a doctor and an engineer. Some women find their fulfillment in being a mom and a great wife. And some people were saying he get over need, when you can. He didn't need to say that at all. He didn't have You're to why are you speaking about women? He's talking to graduates. And why are you who, talking to women? Who paid how much money to get that degree and you gonna go any kind of career. Yeah, in other there. words, anything you wasted your money here. Yeah. You could have just <laughs> stayed home and got married. And had kids. That's fulfillment too. He's a moron. He is really stupid. And his wife is stupid. And he's But to like marry this man and tell him that your greatest fulfillment is being a mother and a, a, a wife to him and let him get on stage and act a fool like that, she deserves to get kicked that, in her butt too. Well, he's a kicker. He may have got kicked in the head himself. She should have said her husband, she heard that speech before he went up there and did that. <laughs> she said that man, you know what? I don't think she likes him. I think she wanted him to get embarrassed. Oh, no. Because he sat down at the kitchen table with his little kids, uh -huh. probably with food all over their face, and she probably <laughs> hair all messed up from having to cook. And he probably, or or she probably well, had they got cook. money. That's, that's what I was getting ready to say. So of course her fulfillment is being a mom and a wife. When your husband is a, a multi-millionaire uh -huh. who only goes out to kick, for God's sakes. <laughs> yeah, he really got a hundred people protecting him so they don't he don't get hit. And when he does get hit, everybody loses their mind because they never hit the kicker. Exactly. Exactly. When they miss too. Thank you. Sometimes the game is on the line because of a kid. His wife's fake greatest fulfillment when she's married to a millionaire and he can take her all over the world. Yes. And and she got somebody to help her raise the most snotty nosed kids. <laughs> yeah. And he gonna speak for these girls who probably barely probably got student loans. Yeah. That gotta be forgiven by, <laughs> by Biden. <laughs> Telling them that they been, they wasted all all that money that your parents just put you through school. Just be happy to be a wife. You should have just mother. stayed out of high school, got pregnant and barefoot yeah. and pregnant, and you would have been the happiest woman yeah. in the world. So I don't know. He on all. He's that, a moron, and his wife doesn't love him. I'm going on record to say that because she, there's no way uh -uh. she read unless, that speech and no, let him get out on stage and, and do that. Again, unless he's such a chauvinist, he didn't show his wife that speech because she's too busy being happy being a mother and a wife. <laughs> she don't need to read no speech. What does she need to read right. for anyway? It's not her business. She didn't go to school. She didn't go to Why college. Why does she need to read? <laughs> Yeah, you can kind of tell what kind of he came man days. He, what woman needs to oh, read in the first place? My wife doesn't read. Oh God, she's happy being a wife and a mother. <laughs> and you ladies can do the same. Yes, when my kids need help with homework, they come to me, <laughs> not her. She needs to be in that kitchen making whatever it is I want her to make. But oh, you guys God. are millionaires, you can have a cook. She doesn't need a cook. Right. Her best times in life mm -hmm. is being by that stove <laughs> and cooking for us. And raising our children. And raising those snotty nosed kids running around, <laughs> drawn with crayons all over the cabinets. That's what she likes to do. Clean the cabinets from them, right. putting crayon marks all over them. <laughs> so yeah, yeah dummy. He, he got slammed for that one. Did he ever apologize? No. Mm -hmm. No, I, don't, I haven't heard any apologies from him. Big dummy. That's funny. You got a ways. You got five miles. I'm going all the way to Sheridan or something? Um, I don't know. It's okay. five miles, so. Okay. Yeah, so he's a moron. So, yeah, I wanted to definitely, I brought that to your attention last week. And I was like, Kim, this football, this uh, football player is saying crazy things. This is thing. And
said, oh, okay, he's at a Christian school, so he's going to be very conservative when it comes to LGBTQ. But I'm thinking, and then why did you even have to exactly. say anything? Even if you don't even agree with gay people or exactly. whatever. What does that have to do with you getting up making a speech to graduates? To graduate. What did you to say anything? Who are you? Thank you. What are you, a pastor or something? You're deciding to get up and give a, a message? Uh -huh. Go yep. sit down somewhere. So yeah, he, he missed it on all levels. That's why you a kicker. And you'll never be anything other but a kicker. Well, and you better make sure you win next year. Actually, people are going to boo you when you come out to kick. They may if they remember him. Big dummy. You know, we You're have not even memorable. Thank you. He's yes. not even who are you? short attention spans <laughs> in this country. Oh, is that the guy that talked about? Nobody's going to know you. Just kick the ball, you big dummy. <laughs> we don't need your commentary. <laughs> All right. Okay. See, at first I was kind of on his side because I didn't know what he said. How was you on his side? Because the way that I was hearing it was like he was just saying that no. there, there's women that find fulfillment in being moms and and and, and, and how a bad area. Sean Diddy comes. Yeah, that's all in the news.